Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today, we're getting back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. There was just a really awesome new upgrade or expansion, actually, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Completely free for everybody that has the game or plays the game on Game Pass. And um, yeah, let's dive into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is, and that's a lot. The game is 103.4 GB with all the extras installed, and I actually installed everything. It's another 61.2 GB. So this game is a total of, yeah, almost 165 GB on your system. It's enormous <laughs> so yeah to be honest if you are playing this game play it through cloud because it's it's way too much it's it's way way too much um the game is optimized for the new generation of consoles i will put in the, the resolutions and stuff down below where you can check them um xbox gen 9 gen scarlet let's go start it up you guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really, really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games, and a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Flight Simulator. I think this is the biggest map in a game they ever created because the whole world is your map. How cool is that? Everywhere in the world you can go. Do you want to fly over your house? Hey, do it. Do you want to fly over some crazy things like Area 51 maybe or or the, 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 the Eiffel Tower or... Uh, the Burj Khalifa, I, I don't know. You can fly everywhere and you can see everything. It's such an amazing experience. Um, the start of this game is really long. It's always checking for updates and loading times. It's, it's an immersive game. It's really an immersive game. Um, maybe you've already seen it uh, at the screen. I've got uh, two cameras. Uh, I also dug up my HOTAS 1 controller. This is a special controller that you can use for fl flight simulator games like, uh, like these. So um, yeah, it's really, really cool. And I'm going to play it with the HOTAS 1. And I got a lot of questions about this HOTAS 1. Do you still need a controller next to it? Yes. You always use the controller to select stuff in the... You must see the, the, the HOTAS 1 as your keyboard and your controller is the mouse. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. This is purely for the controls of the plane. There are two, no, there's one new airplane. And one of the airplanes was already in the game. That's the, the, the F-18 Hornet. Uh, it got a new livery from the movie. And there's this, um, yeah. Yeah, stealth, stealth stratosphere kind of um, airplane. Really crazy, uh, crazy thing that they made of. Oh my goodness, these loading times are long. But it's such a great game to play. Actually, you know, a lot of people say, yeah, but it's a simulator. Yeah, simulator are still games. And it's a new gen exclusive also. So you can only play this natively on a Xbox Series S, X or PC. You can play it on the Xbox One, but only through cloud. No, come on. You can do it. You can do it. It's all up to you. Okay. 
let's see how this works yeah here we go <clears throat> so first of all I will show you the the new airplanes you get with this DLC change aircraft well first of all you get the Boeing FA-18 EF Super Hornet that's the, the plane you will use the most in this DLC and you get this experimental Dark Star and this plane can fly really 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 high this is a crazy cool plane to fly with I've used it a little bit there are a lot of airplanes in this game I don't think these are the planes you get standard on your uh, the game pass version this is the the, the the deluxe version I got I think I don't even know was expensive that's what I know um let's go back let's play some Top Gun so there are some new challenges and there is a training now I'm going to do a challenge already did one um let's do this one low altitude flying This is thank thankfully a little bit faster. Here we go. Look at these graphics. They're the just beautiful. This is such a cool DLC. Flying way too high, Maurice. And to be fair, if you can get your hands on one of these HOTAS controllers, do it. They're so cool. Oh, darn it. Wow, this is a... That was a little bit stupid of mine. We did it! <laughs> it was not really good. I think. Nope. It wasn't really good. completely the wrong way 
Let's do that again. Let's do another one. We had to wait so long to load this game. Complete flight because it takes a long time. Still, it takes a long time, but this is so cool. Look at this thing. It's insane. Here we go. Oh, I, this feels so good. This feels so good. Look at this. How awesome is this? Oh my god. Do you see that? I... How cool is that? That's insane. So cool. How high can we go? We're almost in the upper at atmosphere. Lower atmosphere. This game is awesome. It really is something else.
My goodness. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Ah, I'm doing something wrong. Help, play, play. <laughs> darn it. <laughs> I was way too much, way too busy with the, the menus. But yeah, you guys, this is Flight Simulator running on the Xbox Series S. And yeah, it's... It's such a great game. And if you have the chance to find one of these HOTAS controllers from Trustmaster, definitely, definitely buy one. It's, mm, it feels so good to play it with uh, a controller like that. For now, I really want to thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.